Hello. I honestly forgot what day it was because Monday was out. It's thrown me for a loop and I almost went the entire day without doing this. Anyway, we're uh Wednesday daily challenge. So here we go. Challenge start. Um <clears throat> again I have no idea if these actually have any sort of theme to them or if they're just random places. Uh like I don't know. Kind of like with the New York Times, if you happen to do that um, crossword app, I actually picked that up to uh, do this year. And apparently, there's a little blog with, if not the actual answers, gives you kind of an idea as to why they uh, chose the words or what the theme is of it. Because, I don't know, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a crossword tech. Um, if you're unaware, the beginning of the week, starting on Monday is always the easiest. It progressively gets harder until you eventually get to like Thursday. Thursday is notoriously always the hardest one and usually the one with the most bullshit. What do I mean by bullshit? Well, generally in crossword puzzles, you fill out a word. Uh, a lot of the times they're very rarely will be abbreviated very rarely will have numbers in it because any other day of the week there will not be any um, shenanigans like that. However, on Thursday, all bets are off. And there have been many a times when like one of the answers was a popular checker game where you connect like four of a color in a row. I don't know if that was the exact clue, but Eventually, I, mean, I have no idea where the fuck this is. I, I feel it's Central America somewhere, maybe Brazil, but not seen enough to really be definitive as to where I'm going to be yet. Um, but anyway, the Connect Four thing, back to that. You can make, oh, Connect Four, so you're going to spell out Connect and Four. However, certain days of the week, the Connect Four is an actual number, and that's just dumb because. With crosswords, a lot of what happens is the like little squares, it's almost like Sudoku. Basically. I don't know if I need to explain what a crossword puzzle is. I think a lot of people know what they are. Anyway, where the square is that the number four goes in, the word that goes across doesn't use a number four, and it just doesn't follow the rules, hence the bullshit. And why am I even talking? Oh, yeah, I remember now. And I don't know if certain things like... Uh, um little blog thing telling you hey here's what the the theme is i don't know where this is and i've gotten naria closer cortese cabalos i'm just going to say we're central america maybe brazil i'll just say near acapa oh we got the country right that one was very hard as in i could not tell you a single thing that happened here ah. moving on so, I have no idea if these things actually follow a theme of some sort. This feels Eastern European, although this could be, well, never mind. Pagujoyo? No, it's R A G O O Z H N Y O O T U. That's a U. U's aren't normally a. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a toss-up here because this combination here, the omega symbol basically on its side, or a fancy drawn A, that is a, at least a Russian letter. This U thing, I don't know if that's a uh, design choice. That is not a Russian letter. Unless it's supposed to delineate some kind of pronunciation of the word letter U, like you'll see sometimes on like Chinese or Japanese symbols. The like like little little symbols above them that tells you how to pronounce the symbol, I believe. Alright, so we've got here N E G O O S Y A G O O N. Eh, I don't know. This is uh, 
another bad one. But I'm going to look at this billboard sign, see if it helps me out. I doubt it will. But let's, let's, let's scroll in a bit here. Oh, that's probably the region of Russia we be in. What does it mostly look like? It could kind of look like this little nugget above Mongolia. However, this part doesn't match up. Uh, it could. So maybe we're like, maybe we're like here. I don't know. These really don't follow. And another thing, this potentially could be the outline of the provinces here. So maybe I should take that into account and try to find it here. Assuming, again, this is a huge province. Jesus Christ, so isn't this one. Assuming, again, that these are actually the ones. Maybe it's this on its side. I don't know. Could be that. Very weirdly angled that. I think I'm fine with it being here. This is a weird, like, dirt. It's a little, like, sandy. Makes me feel like we're near water, and I'm probably, oh, this probably would have helped me if I got a little closer. No. S-O-O-R-G-Y-G-O-O-T. 360 kilometers. Well, we're, we're, we're slowly loading in. If it actually ever, uh, Loads in. I feel like I had this problem once before when I recorded this Geoguesser episode at the time of day I'm doing it right now. Oh yeah, I did actually uh, kind of match it. I didn't have this. Maybe if I zoomed in a bit more, that would have registered in my head. Oh well. I almost thought we were in a river. Tiny road. Hmm. Where is this? Anyway, how's your uh, week going? Busy week. Of course, we had the baking video that went out yesterday. The uh, driving around one. And that one I'm a bit annoyed at. Mainly because I went through my, my previous one I did a couple of weeks ago when I recorded it, uh, rendered it, sent it off its way. It was a little bit pixely. I didn't like that. And I was like, well, I kind of just sent it on its merry way without actually doing any background work to make sure the render came out fantastic. This time I actually took the care. All of the raw footage was done in 4K. I rendered in 4K, uh, tailored specifically for whatever YouTube's bitrate is. And looked at it when it was done. It's amazing on my computer. It looks fantastic. However, man, I don't know where this is. These are a lot of pine trees for some place I thought was uh, um, like Ireland. or uh, Although I do see that we are on the uh, silly side of the road. So why did this turn into a very narrow... Um, train of thought. Completely lost. I'll find it again. Anyway, I did all the work. Looks fantastic. Uploaded it. Why did I go backwards? I didn't want to go backwards. Thank you. And watching it, it there's still some pixely stuff in there. And that kind of bugs me. And I, it, it's just something I have to resign myself to the fact that you can do all the uh, work in the back end to make it look right. A lot of it just boils down to the uh, streaming bit rate and the speed at which I'm moving. There's so many uh, little tiny Croag Holiday Center caravans to let. That is a... Hmm. I'm going to say it's Scottish. Croag. I mean, it also could be Ireland, Northern Ireland. Which it, is this Welsh? It's kind of that ambiguous Croag. It's eh. hmm. I'm gonna say we're. Uh, I'm. I'm taking a big guess here. 
I'm probably completely wrong. I'm going to say that we're in Wales. This is... Now I'm like, ah, oh, this doesn't feel like Wales at all. Don't know yet. Ugh. Yeah. I ran... Like, I saw the done thing. I'm like, oh, no, that's probably... That's probably over here. Castle O'Gary, huh? Good for you. Ooh. Oh, God. Knees. Smedderevo and Coven. So, is this Bulgaria? This kind of follows that logic that they do the. Why can't I think of the what with the length? Cyrillic and also English. However, I think knees would have shown up by now. So, it's not here. Maybe it's. uh. Maybe we're in uh, Ukraine. So I feel like I've seen knees before. However, it's not showing up now. Coven. Metarevo. Hmm. Oh, we got some more signage back here. This is a very helpful bunch of signs, potentially. Luke Oil. Hmm. Yeah, it's all English and the A1, E75 A1. Is that? Those are the M's. Man, this is, this is throwing me for a loop now. E95s. Are we up here? I don't see any A1s. Are we, are we? Be over here in the, uh, no, doesn't look like we're in uh, East Prussia. I'm not seeing an E1. E77. Um, E22. Wait, we're up here? Hmm, do I see a knees? I don't, I got a minute left. Panic, panic. Um. Okay, try to find A1. That's very important. That's like step one. All right, let's 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 take a look at that other. Get off my screen. Take a look at this sign. Beograd. God damn it. Belgrad. Where's Belgrad? Why? Show yourself, Belgrad. Why can't I find it now? I'm being dumb. I'm being so dumb right now. I'm so mad. Why can't I think of where Belgrade is right now? It's probably staring me right in the face. Belgrade. Am I just being done? Is it not even here? Belgrade's here. Ah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nice. Ah, I ran out of time. Belgrade just was stuck in my head and it was not telling me anywhere to go. But if you told me any other time of year, day, hour, I would have been like, oh, yeah. Belgrade's totally in uh, Serbian. I just didn't do that because I forgot the name again. Absolutely not. Ooh, this is a weird road. Pretty. Very pretty, though. wonder why there's all these... These lighting. Slower traffic. This is Japan. Where in Japan is this? It's like an Autobahn. This is cool. I don't know where the fuck this is, but this is really cool. Where are we going? Is this like an airport here? Is this like, this is a very intricate, elegant roadway system for a chunk of in, uninhabited area. What's happening here? Lower traffic road. Can I see this bus? Abashiri Kanko Kotsu. That doesn't, that, no, nothing there helps me. What is this? It's like a parking lot. They got these weird fences. It's like a.
Big wind farm. Is it just like to block wind or something? Why are these here? On the wrong side of the road? What the fuck is this? I mean, this is pretty. Very pretty. It's all telling me about slower traffic stuff, but where is this? Like, no trees anywhere. Just planes and a. It's just this this roadway system. No one's on it. It's very much. Oh, we're we're up north because they got chains on tires here. Okay, so I think we're on the northern island. This is really cool looking, at least. All right, two thirty eight. We're uh we got a minute left. We're gonna look up here. Abashiri, do not see you. Oh, Abashiri's right there. So we're like on this. But it's a long way to Abashiri. So we're like here then? What a weird, really, really cool place. Well, Isashi. Wait, we're over here then, aren't we? We might be on the. Oh, there's Isashi. So we're like up here. Amaton Betsu. Amaton Betsu. Yeah, we're like here. Okay. Okay. This is a really cool chunk of the country. I think this is. I, I, I think I nailed this one. I'm very happy with my brain. My ability to pin this stuff down. Oh, I was very much off. A little farther north here. This is cool, though. I like, I like this one. Unusual part of the country. Very much appreciated. Not my best showing. I mean, some of these were pretty difficult. My brain farted hard for a short time there. Um, you know what? We're going to do a uh, the move challenge. I'll do one round of that. I'm feeling I'm feeling generous to myself today. So give me one sec. I'll have it up and ready to go. All right, this one is diverse USA. Just to chop it up, see if I can nail it with my own country. So as you see here, ten seconds, no movings allowed. Here we go. One seconds count. Oh, this is West Virginia. We're in uh. There, we're Charleston. No, it's actually Clarksburg, I believe, was, yeah. We were, it, was, it was Parksburg. It was something Burg. That's where West Virginia University is. I just couldn't get the words out in time. Oh, uh, God, this is going to be the southeast. I'm going to say probably there in Alabama. That one feels southeast U.S. to me. Yeah, wasn't that far off. I'm pretty good with that. Those pine trees, and they look a little too green. Like for some reason, pine trees and... Very green grass when it looks flat like that. It just reminds me of the southeast. All right. Well, doing those 50 states, I hope something would have penetrated my brain. Uh, this doesn't tell me enough. I'm just going to say that we're uh, northeast, maybe in Philadelphia. Uh, I couldn't get it in time. I mean, oh, we were Statesville. Okay, Statesville. There was no, I, it, I couldn't move, so I was going to be able to tell. Got the country right. Oh, God, this is East Bumfuck, New Mexico. We'll say, like, right there. If it's not there, it's going to be probably Utah or California. Sections of the country I've not been to. Death Valley, it looks like. Oh, this again looks southeast. I'll say this time, Georgia. Say, like, right there. That was too close to Athens. We'll go a little farther out. Maybe Florida. Maybe Florida. Oh, I can move. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> well, we're sitting here waiting for the GeoGuess website to work. Well, fuck, that was Virginia. Not a good one. Not, 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 bleh, not good. We're going to play the same map again. Going to hit play. Everything's here. We're doing this again. Another quick round. Warning, something can't make it out. Um, 
Air Force Base, we'll just say Kansas, like there in Kansas. I don't know. Oh, we were outside. We were in Cheyenne. Apparently, that's what Metro Cheyenne looks like. Fooled me. Hmm. Ugh. No idea. It's a little sandy. I'll just say again, South Carolina, like right there. That feels southeast to me. Oh, we were in uh, Albany over here in uh, Georgia. The way I say things. First security bank. Oh, God. This looks Midwest. I'll say Des Moines. Okay, we were in uh, Bowman, Montana. Was not getting that. Oh, God. This is, uh, I'm going to say Jersey. There, if I can actually get like maybe Edison, I'll say. Oh shit, we were in uh, Delaware, Ohio. Not confusing to anybody that lives there. This one's bad. I'm doing very bad this time. Flat fields, pine trees behind there. I feel like this might be. I'm gonna take a big guess. I'm gonna say we're uh, New York. This almost feels like a place I've been to. Oh, Delaware. Okay, fair enough. That one went bad. Well. I at least got the country right, as I said already before. That's going to do it for our Wednesday. Please thank you all for watching and your continued support with all the stuff that I do on my channel. I very much appreciate it. If you yourself have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, suggestions for games, themes, maps, whatever you want, go ahead and put them in the comments below with this video or any other one that I do. I will read them and get back to you. Once again, thank you for your time. Come back on Friday where I try to see how many countries I can guess in a row again. Hopefully I can do better than five. See you then, folks. Have a good one.